Hello everyone, my name is SuperRepload CLA and welcome back to another tutorial video. Now this is pertaining to more aspects on doing flowcharts, but before I get started with this tutorial, if you have not seen the beginner's guide on how to utilize flowcharts using Raptor, you may refer to my uh, video, it will be displayed in the outro of this video, where I show you guys the basics on how to use flowcharts and of course compose them with Raptor. So in this session of using flowcharts, you see that there are more than just the assignment symbols, the input symbol and of course the output symbol. You see that they have callouts and of course loops, etc, 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 which I have not gotten into yet, but the one I got into so far this week is callouts. Now for callouts, it's, well, for those who are new to this symbol, it may be a bit confusing to you. The callout symbol in the raptor is, looks, it looks like a square or rectangle with an arrow on the side of it. And you will see the true secret on how to use the callout symbol when using raptor for flowcharts. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to utilize callout symbols in Raptor. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, this is my same flowchart example that I showed you guys on last week's video, where I showed you the basics on how to utilize flowcharts, I mean create flowcharts using Raptor. Now, I'm going to be using the same flowchart, but I'm going to show you how to use a different kind of, well, this would be the same aspect, the plot and stuff, but I'm going to do it in a way where I would be able to utilize callouts or call. I'm going to say call because, well, that's the genuine title name, but anyway, so you can see that this is the chart right here. Now, there are other methods on how to do, this, do the flow chart like this, but in different ways depending on the symbol that you're using for your actual flow chart right here. Okay, so the aspects are the same, so we're going to make some new tabs. So in order to do that, we go right here to the main tab right here, then we're going to right click and then we're going to add subchart or tab. Okay, so in this area of subcharts, we're going to, well, well, you can use anything just pertain, just as long as you do the process correctly. So, all right, so instead of doing this one right here, I, I decided to do it, well, never mind. Okay, so in this area right here where it says name subchart, you're going to name it as a specific subchart that you want to provide. All right, so let's say that we're doing one pertaining to total amount. So if you do new subcharts, you just have to provide the same input and of course, well, it's simple once you get used to it. I'll show you guys in this video right here. All right, so for this subchart, since we're doing this on the first symbol right here, which is enter amount the payee has to pay, has prior to payment, has prior to payment get the total amounts. We're going to name this as total amount. So we're going to click OK after the after that. Oh wait, you gotta add the characters, I'm sorry. Add the underscore. And there you go. So this is the new subchart. Now remember you have to add a few symbols in order for the process to carry on. Alright, so that's total amounts. And we're going to use this input for this one. All right, so for the next one, we're going to do it with total payments. So add new subchart again, total payment. And there's total payment. You can do this for the other, especially the assignment type. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get that knocked out. So, but for, but because I have um, one assignment and of course a few outputs, well, you can just do it for this many symbols that you have in your main flowchart. So we're going to do it like this here. And well, after we do the subcharts, we're then going to move on to the calls. So pay attention closely. So we're going to add the assessment subchart or assignment subchart. Uh, revenue calculation. This will be for the assignment. Now for these two. Add another subchart total amount sum or summary in, in long terms and add a subchart for the last one that'll be the output total payment sum it can be basically any name just as long as you got the right one for your flowchart that you're composing okay so after that you can see that we have the same ovals to start and end because that's good. That's a, that's very important because you want the process to 
work out. Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, we're going to remove these because we're doing it in a different method. So we're going to remove the input assessment and I mean assignment and output on the main chart. And we're going to add five callouts because that's how many we have. That's how many subcharts we have. We want to do this many callouts, depending on how many subcharts that you have on your flowchart. All right, so in this area right here, we are to. Okay, so for call, we add the name of the subchart display. So when you, so when the process is starting, like when you click play, when you get done with the stuff, when you click it, it'll go to the call that you made. But you have to make sure the names are identical. The call name is identical to the subchart that you have right here. And we're going to, it'll take you to that subchart. And whatever assignment that you have to do in there, you can just work out. And of course, when it's done with that subchart, it will move back to the main page of the flowchart and go to the next call, then go to the next subchart, and so forth. All right, so since we're doing the first one, since we got the first one displayed, and since the first one is total amounts, we're going to name this one as total amount. All right, so when that name is there, it should automatically take you to the sub, the total amount subchart. All right, so we're going to name the other calls in order as these in the subchart. You can name this as total payment. Name this as revenue calculation. Name this as total amount summary or sum. And lastly, total payment sum. All right, so now that we got that out the way, we're not done yet because we gotta fill out the subcharts next. Okay, so we're gonna do the same process. We're gonna make it look like the first flow chart that we did. Like it goes to input and we enter the amount. All we had to do is just enter the symbol for that and just, okay, so we start with start and input and end, start, input and end, start, assignment and in because we're calculating the revenue for total amount and total payment. All right, so next is start, output, in, start, output, in. It's just like that. You just have to uh, put one, just one symbol in these subcharts since we're doing it in different subcharts. And of course, we're basically taking shortcuts to that particular subchart that we're working on. So for total amount, we're going to add the input, just the input symbol between start and end. And we're going to put in there enter amount the pay has prior to payment. Total amount. It's just like last time. Just rename just rename it as like it is right there. Alright, so that's total amount right there. Now if you click this it will give you an error because you have to fill out everything in the subcharts that you have on your flowchart that you're working on with the call. All right, so total amount is complete. Now we move on to total payment. Add the input right there, and then type in quotations. Enter amount the payee has to pay. Total payment. Okay, so we got that. Now we're doing a revenue calculation. So we're gonna do assignment symbol, place between start and end, and we're going to calculate, check back on your subcharts if you get confused on what to enter, which one to set it to. All right, so go to assignment, set it to total revenue, total amount minus total payment. Okay, so the, assess the assignment is complete on this one. Now we move on to the output. Now remember, when it comes to entering the prompt, make sure you add a space after the end quotations, space, plus sign, then type in the code name of the stuff that you're putting a summary about. All right, so click output, and click between start and end, and 
and we're going to type in prompt. You can see right there the example right there. Just in, just in case you get confused. So we're going to type in the amount the payee has prior to payment is, then add the dollar sign. That's just your calculate money. All right, so in quotations, space plus total amount. All right, so we did that. Now we do the same thing with total payment sum. The amount the pay has to pay is in quotation dollar sign space plus total payment. All right, so now that we got this flowchart complete, we're gonna test out this version of flowcharts with the call and see where it will take us. So once you've got everything done, you click execute to completion, and we'll see how it pan out. You will see that the first call, well, after the show start, the first call will automatically transfer you to the first subchart that you have, the code name of the subchart that you have. So. We're gonna go ahead and execute the completion. Okay, so as you just saw, it works you to the subchart, the first subchart that we created. So as you can see, the rules are the same. Enter the amount the pay has prior to payment. We're going to enter 1,000 this time. And enter the amount the pay has to pay. We're gonna say 500. And as you can see, it's the same method, but with different symbols. And it's very easy. So these are just, don't let, let this get confused. Don't let it confuse you because this is just to take you to different subcharts because you want to uh, learn how to use certain symbols that like take you to different subcharts or like blah, 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 blah. You want to learn how to, you want to learn the full aspect on how to use different symbols which I've yet to learn because I haven't gotten to selection and loop yet but this is just the second part of it so pretty soon I might do more tutorials on selection and of course the loop which will probably be hopefully a cinch but yep this is just pertaining to calls this time so yeah okay so for the call symbols think of them as shortcuts to the icons on your desktop computer think of it that way and of course you'll get the general idea on how to do it in the version of doing flowcharts and it's pretty simple so that's it for this tutorial video. I hope you enjoyed it to the fullest. If you did, please hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Also, if you want some more content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and of course follow us on social media if you like. Join me on Twitch where I live stream on Fridays, Saturdays, and of course on the holidays. If you want to join my community, links in the description below and do not forget to share because care. Remember, if you haven't seen my first the pilot episode of the flowchart series, you can refer to the video in the outro where I show you the basics on how to use Raptor to compose flowcharts. And if you still need Raptor to compose the flowcharts, I'm going to add the link of the download page in the description below. Head to the link and of course download the Raptor app and you should be fine and of course learn how to do the uh, flowcharts. And that said, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this to the fullest. There are more videos come soon. Make sure to comment below and favorite. This is Super Reploid CLE. Love you guys to the fullest. And as always, I will see Reploids in the next video. If you haven't already, please make sure to click the bell symbol located by the subscriber count. Just one click away, and boom! Hi there Reploids, this is Silver Reploids CLE, wanted to take the time to say thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and if you want more content, please subscribe. Don't forget to follow my social media for more updates, and in case you missed it, please check out my previous video or any video displayed, and please give tons of love and support. I look forward to seeing you at the Utopia, my dear Reploids.